Hello everybody, it's the Historical Gamer once again, and today we're returning to Mars Horizon, a new turn-based strategy and space management game that puts you into the shoes of a space agency from the mid-1950s into the near future with the ultimate objective of eventually getting to Mars. It is 1960 in our current game, and we are losing the space race to the Chinese, slightly. We were the first country uh, leading the United States. We were the first country to get our sounding rocket into low Earth orbit. We were the first country to put a satellite into orbit. The Chinese uh, were the first country, however, to put an animal into space. We were second following them uh, by less than a month, however, uh, and we are trying to close that gap and retake the lead uh, to be the first to get a man into space. We promised our press that we would be the first to put a man into space. That was going to give us a big popularity boost if we follow through on the promise, but now we've actually got to do it, uh, and we'll try and close the gap in this episode. With that being said, this is taken from a live stream from my Twitch channel, and that's enough of me talking. Let's jump back into the stream. Okay. And then I'm going to start researching humans in space. No mission slots available. Yes, it actually is. All right, so... Humans in space, plan mission... I don't have the actual shit ready to do it, but I can select the Mercury capsule at least, because we know that that's ready. Actually, what do we do here? So Mercury capsule, 66%. If we do comms, I don't really understand. the. So the mission here is going to have short-range comms. Or we need to do four comms in orbit and six orbital navigation. So the orbital navigation is the more important thing to rate highly. It doesn't look like any of that matters. Extra power might be nice. It's much more expensive. Increases the power by 50%. Doesn't affect reliability. It does increase the costs. I don't have the cash for that, so we're going to do this payload. I must build an astronaut training facility. Have I even researched that yet? Uh, no, I haven't. I also guess I don't have the cash to do this. We could do a uh, a prototype with the mission, but that'll have a reduced reliability considerably. Let's just wait one month. Soviet Union achieves moon orbit. What? The newspapers are dominated by the recent success of the Soviet Union's lunar orbit. Your agency has been approached for comment. Your PR team advised that praising the achievements will improve relations with the Soviet Union, yet may open our agency to criticism for falling behind. We're going to downplay that achievement. Screw the Soviets. Give me that support. Budget review. Plus 543 since the last one, so we do get an increase in budget. By about 27,000. I mean, what a, it says accept and continue. I don't really have much of a choice, but, but okay. Um... So the Soviets are the first to achieve lunar orbit, but they haven't sent anyone to do it. It's just a probe. So let's do research here. So we've researched the booster for Atlas. Uh, this carries a capacity of 8,000 kilograms. Uh, mass, 6,400, 6,400, 6,600, 55, 60, 80 reliability. Was the redstone the upper stage? I'm kind of confused here. I need to unlock an astronaut training building, right? So we'll actually do that next. We should have enough research here to finish this in one month. And then we'll go back to the vehicles. We'll go ahead and build the standard payload. Well, let's, we've got the cash, right? No, not yet. All right, we're just gonna go with the standard mission payload then. It's gonna take three months. If we go to Earth, we are planning in the planning stages of a mission. China is not yet planning a mission. So that's good for us. We've got the, Edge there if we can get everything researched in time. Meanwhile, I think we have a mission to launch in two turns. The new Houser will be completed. Uh, 
yeah, the the research is really high because of that science mission. Is there a way you can do more than one research? Yeah, so it looks like we just need to research one of these to carry the capsule. I guess I'll just go with the highest highest reliability. Delta 4 is cheaper and more reliable. Same weight as the redstone. It has double the build time, but substantially more reliable. I'm guessing just because the capacity is fine, the Atlas can carry it, in, or we can go with the upper stage redstone. Quicker build time. Atlas build time is three months anyway, though, so. All right, so we finished researching the astronaut training facility, so we'll go to base, we'll go ahead and build. 300K, we don't have enough money. Damn. What about crew? Hire some astronauts. All right, so I've got to wait a month. Research was done on the on the building, I believe it was. We're probably going to need a medium launch pad also, I would guess, for this new rocket, right? Does it, does it say what it requires? Yeah, I mean, so we're going to need to build a new launch pad too. All right. Um... Let's just go with the Delta. I'm going to go with Rely. Why can't I research it? Why is it unavailable? Do I not have the... Don't have the cash? Well, that's confusing. I can research the medium launch pad, but I can't research the other item? Huh. All right, let's launch the new Hauser 1, get a little bit more science. Okay. The new Hauser 2. Focus on training and training for reliability. Set the launch date for April. Confirm mission setup. One month from now. Meanwhile, do I have enough cash now? I do, 300K. So where do we wanna build this thing? So we don't wanna build it next to the rocket pad or the assembly facility, there's no perks there. There are no perks to, well, maybe there are perks to putting it here, but I can't see them because there's boulders in the way. Oh no, I can put it here. I don't have the money to put it here, but in theory you can put it here. So, two reliability, launch, cost, reliability, reliability. Vehicle build cost, vehicle payload. Two, one. So this is just cost, this is, I prefer reliability, personally. I don't have the cash to build it in any of these places, though, because the terrain's not built, cleared. I need more money. God damn it. Um, oh, wait. Let's go back. Let's go back to our buildings. Let's clear some terrain. Those are expensive as fuck. Moving rocks? Okay. Spent most of my budget clearing clearing shrubbery. Next month. Start a GoFundMe. <laughs> I'm assuming I can put a Delta booster on an Atlas. I'm not sure, Newhauser. I'm guessing since the weight can weight is fine, it lets me. Otherwise, what's the point of having me research everything independently and giving me choices there? Alright, so we're ready to launch. Optimal date. Launch preparations complete. 
launch mission. No rain on the forecast here. This will be our first launch. Or no. Yeah, it'll be our first Jupiter launch, won't it? No, second. We already launched one Jupiter. Launch day, April 1960. Adequate conditions. Wow. Watch, now that we've got a, only a 5% chance of a critical failure, we'll see a 5% chance strike. The new Hauser 2, tempting fate since 1960. There we go. No explosion as far as I could tell. We still end up having a problem. So negative one command on first turn of task. So operability failure. Okay. Whatever. I mean, it still was a success. The rocket didn't blow up. Next on Fox. When orbital rockets go bad. All right. So we need to collect three radio comms and one data for a success, five for a bonus, and th five and three for a bonus. We have four turns remaining. Um, what do we wanna do? I guess I'll go with visual data collection. Huh, <laughs> just barely didn't get charged an extra power for that. Okay. And all right, we're not doing any charging of power here, which is great because now I need to spend w my one remaining power to resist this negative effect. So hopefully the next one goes well. Yes, it does, okay. So both of those went well. We'll need to spend our next turn recharging the batteries, if you will. But we've at least achieved our minimum objective of this mission. So we'll recharge power here. I guess we could recharge it twice. Just so we have enough power left over in the event that something really bad happens. Uh, we have one more turn remaining. So we need to do this. And this, and this should get us to our bonus objective. Assuming they both succeed. Why is that gonna cost so much electricity? So we have two power left over. Hmm. All right, so not that. What am I doing? Okay, let's hope they both work out, because if they don't, we won't get our bonus objectives. All right, that one worked. So good data transmission. So we've at least achieved our minimum objectives. And we've achieved our bonus objectives. Good. Good die rolls for us all around. There we go. Successful mission with the bonus objectives. So bonus science. 450 for two months. More support as well. All right, so we achieved orbital success. So we've got one mission slot available. What do we wanna do now for a mission? Satellite imaging, do we have everything we need? We don't. We've already done animal in space. Uh, we could do a joint mission, an orbital chimpanzee, a diplomatic mission. There are special mission types involving your agency partnering with another space agency to conduct, conduct the mission. The other agency will provide a proportion of the mission's costs and rewards will be split between both agencies. You'll also gain reputation with the other agency as long as the mission is a success. 
I don't want to do that just because I don't think, I mean, I don't have the, I'm guessing I don't have the cost. So what do, it's a challenging mission. Suggestion mission vehicle. Looks like we could do it with the Jupiter. So we've got the equipment to do it. Our diplomatic relations with the Soviets are not great. I don't really know what the impact of having negative relations with them is. Like, so if I go to diplomacy here, the Soviets hate us. The diplomacy screen, you'll be able to see the relationship with each space agency. Depending on your reputation with an agency, your relationship can range from allied to antagonistic. Rep uh, rep diplomacy can be earned from loss through joint missions and certain events. Each type of relationship, apart from neutral, grants bonuses to your agency. Friendly and allied relationships boost science income and increase the other agency's joint mission contributions. Competing and antagonistic relationships boost money income and reduce other agencies' joint mission contributions. So I get more money if they don't like me? Okay. But I get less science. I can gain access to their contractors if I get allied relations with them. I guess maybe I don't want to do a joint mission with the, with the Soviets then. Yeah, I need I do need money. Um, can I reuse a design? No, the new Hauser two doesn't have strong enough upper stage. So. I haven't researched an adequate upper stage, I don't think. Yeah. So this mission's gonna kinda have to sit as is. What's this two mean? Okay. So yeah, we can use the Delta on the Atlas. It's gonna cost me 600K though. Nine months build time. Yeah. So I need to research the Delta stage. We're currently researching the launch pad. We need 500 more research points to complete the research. Then we have to build the launch pad. What I really need now is more money. So perhaps what we do is instead, we only have one, we'll do a, get more research, get more support. I don't want to keep spending money on expensive missions that, the sounding racket's cheap. Let's just go with that. It'll give me a little bit more reputation, a little bit more research that I can use. All right, medium launch pad research complete. Now I need to research the, got it. The Delta upper stage. Why can't I research it? I don't, it keeps giving me a, you can't research this. I can't research any of these? I don't understand. Is it because I haven't built a new launch pad? 
I don't have the cash to build a medium launch pad. Or an astronaut training facility, for that matter, now. I'm confused. What can I do? Why can't I research the stage? Research of second gener second of previous generation upper stage. Oh, you have to research two upper stages? That's the issue? Well, shit. That's annoying. I didn't even notice that. One of two. Huh. Thanks for the call out there. That seems like a silly thing, but okay. Right. I need more money, goddammit. <laughs> yes, that was the Jurassic Park sound. Um, okay, mission training bonus. Launch window. Okay, so we won't launch in a suboptimal period of time, I guess. So October is the earliest we can launch. Confirm. Um, meanwhile, research. We completed ABLE, so now we can research Delta. It's going to be how much research points? 350. So we'll have that ready in the next turn. Meanwhile, we're going to need astronauts and we're going to need a bigger launch pad, both of which are going to take time. So we'll have to go ahead and spend the money to upgrade our base to build the astronaut training facility. Eh, let's wait till the next month and do the launch pad. Then we'll do the astronaut training facility. All right, so Delta upper stage is unlocked. So we can do mission control expansion. I don't know what we want to research next. Maybe missions, satellite imagery, I guess. That's another milestone that we should, we should try and go for. No one else has done it yet. No one else has yet scheduled a human in space yet either. I'm guessing they're dealing with the same same challenges that we are at the moment. Um, so let's go one more turn so then I can work on the uh, mission control or the, the bigger launch pad first. Uh, a group of small child or a group of children on the opposite side of the world have managed to pick up radio signals from your recent orbiting satellite as part of a school project. The story's been widely covered in the press. Send them mission memorabilia for 10K? Yeah, let's do it. I don't, I don't know why, like, does it give me, it didn't give me a prestige bonus or anything. I'm not sure about that. All right, so let's go ahead and build the medium launch pad. Uh... Do we want to build it next to anything? Doesn't seem to get... Oh, ideally I'd build it next to those two. I can't afford that though. So I guess we'll just build it here. Running out of room! All right, that's gonna take several months to build, six months. So we'll have enough money to do the astronaut training by then. We're still researching satellite imagery. UFO fever, the discovery of debris likely belonging to a weather balloon has sparked a wave of conspiracy theories surrounding UFOs. Several questionable magazines have approached your agency for comment. While your researchers urge dismissing such stories, your PR team has noted the potential for drumming up interest in space exploration. Hell yeah, give me that support. Your agency has made the most speculation to promote the importance of developing human spacecraft. Many in the scientific community have voiced their disapproval at the response that public interest in your space program has increased. I need money, guys. 
I could remove or move the small launch pad, Baldwin, but um, it's not actually in the perfect location either. All right, so we're going to do the sound. I think it's a sounding rocket, right? Something cheap. It's raining. Yay, delay the launch. The sublime. All right, we'll just push it a month. Um, meanwhile, I still need 100k more for the astronaut facility. So we should have enough money as of this turn. Optimal date. Give me good weather. Let's launch the mission. For a second, I thought it was raining again. Would have gouged out my eyes. This art style is very reminiscent of, like, the sort of art, like, I don't know how to describe it, but it's almost like the, the look and feel of that new uh, Netflix series. Um, what's it called? It's like The Liberators or whatever. It's got that same, like, cartoony comic book, like, outline of the colors and images. I actually kind of like it for this. Give me a success. Give me a success. All right, so a successful mission. Nothing flashy, nothing nothing extra, but still a successful mission. Third time we've launched the sounding rocket. It gives us plus 15% reliability. We get 100 more support, 250 more, or 250 more research. Japan was third in the animal in space. New mission slot available. Um, beam launch pad three months away. So any of these components will work. Researching satellite imagery, we are getting close to the research being unlocked for that. Let's also build our astronaut facility now. God damn it. Um, let's do this. Can we move some stuff around to see if we can't optimize some of this? Oh, shit. Moving costs money. Well, great. Don't do that. All right. So that's fine where we just moved it. Um... We can afford to place it here. There's no bonuses with that. You know what? I'll at least start building it. I need I mean I need to I need to get this mission underway. Um we do we have the right research done? We do, I think, right? Let's name what are we gonna name our human space flights? I'm assuming the PR office helps support money. <laughs> the game looks like it would it would uh, piss you off. We're gonna name our human rocket the Big Bang. <laughs> Big Bang One. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right. I don't have the money to build the vehicle. It's gonna take me a few months to have the money. I don't even have the money to start another mission slot. All right, everybody, that's going to do it for this episode of Mars Horizon, a new turn-based space strategy game that uh, I've been enjoying quite a bit. This is 
turn number four and or part number four in our Let's Play series. And I think in our next uh, episode, we will try and get into space. This was taken from a live stream from my Twitch channel. So please let me know if you're enjoying this series and if you'd like to see more of it. Uh, but I know I really had a good time. The first stream was about two and a half hours long. So the next episode will be the last part of that stream that I streamed on the, the night it came out. Um, and then we'll go from there. But I hope you guys are enjoying the series. I'm enjoying it a lot. We'll see if we can get the first human into space in the next episode. And until next time, this is the Historical Gamer saying once again, thank you very much for watching. And until next time, I'm out.